But what if every household object would be implemented with solar cells and be self-sufficient? Okay, true, it does need sunlight, but I really like the idea of double, double functioning. So say your house gets too hot because it's received too much sunlight, you could close your blinds or curtains and those are harvesting that solar light and so energy. So you cool your house and power it at the same time. But I would definitely say uh, things you carry around or have on you, like your clothing, your phone, laptop, those will become self-sufficient for sure. Well, there are the obvious one, like architecture, urban planning, and non-urban planning. Because if you would say that every surface is an opportunity to harvest energy, then buildings, roofs, facades, and cities are very important. At the same time, we need to think about what kind of effects solar farms have on our nature if we place that in our landscape. But also a discipline like digital culture is important. There's an example, for example, uh, of the solar cinema where movies are played through sunlight, but especially now in this time where the world mostly happens online, there's a massive opportunity as data requires a lot of energy. So I would say, Digital culture is an important one too. Well, I hope this time will enable us to change things and give us space to do things better. And that we start to see solar power not only as something functional and technical, but really something that we want to be surrounded with and is part of our everyday life. For example, the Dutch canals that function as a logistic infrastructure or the old Dutch windmills that are now monuments are, were used just for to power, to power things or to grind things up. And what I hope is that basically COVID-19 provides us a new status quo and definitely solar energy should be part of this status quo. Well, various processes in nature inform my work. For example, sedimentation in stones or photosynthesis in plants. The fact that leaves in plants or trees absorb sunlight and change color during the year. So in autumn, for example, other less strong pigments behind chlorophyll becomes uh, more visible. And that that same leaf, when it's no longer needed, falls off and forms food for other organisms in nature. I mean, that's all, that whole circle is just brilliant, right? So several brick projects, like the World Expo, where we designed the whole roof for the Dutch pavilion, are now postponed due to uh, COVID-19. So this is also a time where you have more space and, and uh, to also work on self-initiated uh, projects. Um, and so we really have time to like now think about uh, solar and everyday objects. So now we will release a Kickstarter soon with a solar light that you hang in front of the window and during the day it receives light and in the evening yeah, it provides you light. And this will be a yeah, first of a series of new projects to come. <laughs>